Oh hi! I didn't see you there. Today I'm talking about Marius Gaius in this Erasma special presentation. Marius Gaius was a general and statesman who had led the populares during the Civil War of 89-86. He stood against Sulla in this, and you will learn about Sulla in the other image. Hold on, if you're watching this first, I'll get there. Born in Arpinum, he served in Spain under one Scipio Africanus the Younger. In 119 BC, he was elected tribune. So, Latin history lesson. What is a tribune? Well, you see, Latin was a classist, classist society. Black. Oh crap, I called it. Oh, um, never mind, I meant Rome. <laughs> you see, the vast majority of people were plebeians, and then there were the patricians, but patricians are the only ones who matter in history, so we're gonna just let them take a step back today and talk about the plebeians, because the plebeians got a role in the senate. It's a small role, but it's the consuls. Best consuls were the brother Gracchi. Just saying, just saying. Now, Marius Gaius, well, he had a bit of a benefit of being married to the aunt of Julius Caesar. Yes, that Julius Caesar. Not the first one, or the second one, but I think the third one who was, you know, the guy who did th great things and turned us into, and turned, the, and turned Rome into an empire. That Julius Caesar. Now, being part of the popular party and all, he got sympathy with the lower class. Served in and he later accompanied Roman general Quintus Salius Metellus to Africa in 109 BC. I don't know who that is yet. Later, he was elected consul and was invested with the conduct of war against Jugurtha, the king of Numida, assisted by his chief aide, Sulla. Have fun. Marius captured the man, and then his enemy said, We're giving this accomplishment to Sulla. Crap. And then began the layer of hatred between these two leaders. That we'll be talking about more. After a few years subjugating Numida, Marius became consul in 104 BC and advanced northward to oppose the invading Germanic tribes. Through these campaigns, he was considered a savior of his country, and in 100 BC, he was made consul for the sixth time. He's worked a lot. When Sulla was entrusted with the conduct of a war against Asian king Mithridates VI, Marius, who dealt a hatred, said, No, nah, you don't get in command. Civil war broke out, and Marius was forced to flee. Bye-bye, Marius. And when he returns to Rome after a while, after the Asian conquest is complete, he finds out his friends have started a little uprising. Against Cinna. Well, no, not against Cinna, but... It was under Cinna's lead. And it was against Sulla! Oh yeah, time for some fighting enemy. Marius then took his revenge in a, in a bunch of murder. Murder. Yes, murder is the best way for revenge. Good job, history! And later, he and Cinna became the consuls in 86 BC, and Marius died in Rome on January 13th of that year, holding the office for a few days. You tried? So that was the Gaius Marius side, and you'll see the rest on the Sulla side. The sullen side. I'm weird. Sorry, I'm sorry.